Hey guys, Professor Greg here from King Jiu Jitsu. I'm here with the solid student Mikey. Nice. Very good role, very good body, he learns very fast. And I love uh, doing videos with him. He understands uh, what we're doing and a very good uh, body to work with. So, what we're gonna do now is work a uh, submission, a shoulder lock from the close guard. And we're gonna show how we can go from a sweep to another shoulder lock. I'm sure you've seen the second one uh, on Instagram, but I'm gonna show you how you get there. But this is a neat little trick from the close guard, how to set up either a sweep or an attack. And uh, I don't know if you guys have seen this, but hopefully you guys are gonna like it. So here, close guard. What I'm doing is I'm trying to set up a sweep attack, but mainly what I'm trying to do is break his posture. So here we're gonna go for, as if I'm going for the, 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 the scissor sweep, or triangle attacks, or spider guards, lasso, whatever. The goal is I want my four fingers in each of the sleeves in the arm. What I'm going to do now is break his posture. I want to shift him on the side. I like this side. So I'm going to put both of his wrists, his hands on the mat by my hip and rib section. I want to keep it tight because what I want to do is strap by the wrist and expose the elbow. So what I'm doing is I'm, I'm not just shifting on the side, I'm going up and shifting on the side. Once I'm here, I keep the four fingers in. It's very important that I do not let go of the four fingers in. I'm keeping it, I'm not using this to go up. Look how I'm opening the guard, I'm creating an, an, an angle, and I'm going up, and I'm trapping the arm by the wrist. I'm pulling it in, so I'm here now. What I'm doing is I'm exposing his elbow. Now, is, if, you, if you see, it's bending his arm on the outside. This is where the shoulder lock is going to start happening. Now I'm here to keep the posture, to be able to move and create the angle. Look at this, how it, it tidied it up, right? You feel it? So now once I'm here, look, I still have the control. Now I can let go because I'm going for the elbow. Now I feel as if I'm doing a heel hook. What I'm doing now is like, I can finish it from here, but if not, look, I go over the, the, the shoulder and trapping shoulder to elbow and up and I get the tap. Let's say this doesn't work. Now I get the sweep. Look what I'm doing. I'm shifting my hip and I sweep it. I release the leg. I still have the elbow. I go across. Now I can grab the gi or just punch my arm through. Now I step towards him and over in between his legs. I still have the control of the elbow. I still control the arm and all I do is I hip up and get the tap. For sure I can go here and start feeling the reverse. more. Okay, let's say I don't have this. We can get on the top. And now in full motion. Big man, that crack. <laughs> 